What's up guys, it's Brandon, and in this video, I wanna cover four takeaways from this book, Cleanse to Heal. So here's the story. Anthony William says that ever since he was four years old, he has a voice speak into his right ear that could tell him what anyone has going on in their body. For example, the voice told him to walk over to grandma, put his hand on her chest and say, cancer. Three weeks later, they found out she has lung cancer. Sounds crazy, but then you see the millions of people who say they're healing with his advice and all the celebrities that swear by him. He's written five books before this, and now here's his new one. So let's jump into it. But before we do, please, please, please click that like button below this video to let YouTube's algorithm know that you like this video. It really, really means a lot. All right, takeaway number one, do we need to cleanse? See, most people say that cleansing is stupid. We don't need it. The body cleanses itself. And to those people who say the body cleanses itself, Anthony Williams says that they don't realize what we're up against. We're up against viruses and bacteria that are rapidly moving through the population. And no, not just the virus that everyone's talking about these days, but ones like Epstein-Barr, which is responsible for so much of the health problems we face today. We're up against toxic heavy metals. We're up against pesticides, herbicides, solvents, petroleum-based products. And that's just the beginning. There's toxic chemicals in air fresheners, scented candles, conventional laundry detergent, perfume, cologne, and aftershave. There's chlorine and fluoride in tap water and even in your toothpaste. There's radiation from everything from cell phones to Wi-Fi. So if you're wondering if we need to cleanse, he says in the book, the answer is yes. Takeaway number two is fat good for you. Anthony Williams says that people are sick because of two things inside their bodies. One, pathogens like viruses and bacteria, and two, toxins like heavy metals or harmful chemicals. And when you think about food, you really want to think about how do foods contribute to feeding the pathogens and keeping the toxins in your body. For example, let's talk about fat. So many people say that eating a high fat diet is good for you. I've read many books that say just that, but Anthony Williams says that high fat diets thicken the blood and limit oxygen oxygen in your blood, which allows viruses and bacteria to thrive. Now, sure, some fat like a healthy avocado or some hemp seeds is okay, but even then he says that fat is fat and you don't want most of what you eat coming from fat. And that even the leanest cuts of meat are really just takeaway number three. Does food matter? Anthony Williams says in the book that conventional universities are still not focused on teaching that food is behind conditions and illnesses, even if the students who attend these medical universities are. Your doctor will rarely tell you that you could eliminate your high cholesterol or blood pressure by changing your diet. And your dermatologist will rarely tell you that you could eliminate your eczema through food. So a question that's helpful to ask is, what role does food play in our well-being? And what changes can we make to help us with our symptoms and conditions? Well, in the book, he covers a bunch of foods that cause trouble in our bodies. And if you're an Insider School member, we'll be covering some of them in this next week's membership videos. And if you're not a member, by the way, click the link in the description. But let's cover one of these foods now, eggs. He says that an egg is a ball of hormones to grow a baby chicken and those hormones feed viruses and bacteria. And he recommends removing it completely from your diet. Takeaway number four, what's up with heavy metals? He says in the book that we all have heavy metals in our bodies, mercury, aluminum, copper, just to name a few. Okay, Brandon, maybe I do your thinking, but what's the big deal? And he says in the book that toxic heavy metals carry a disruptive charge that interferes with the electricity that travels through your brain. And it's this charge that causes brain fog, memory issues, anxiety, Alzheimer's disease, ALS, Parkinson's disease and more. The bad news is that these toxic metals don't leave on their own. The good news is we can take steps to get them out. And that's why he recommends his heavy metal detox smoothie. You can Google it for the full recipe, but basically five foods in a smoothie that powerfully remove heavy metals from your body. Wild blueberries, Atlantic dulse, spirulina, barley grass juice powder, fresh cilantro, and there you have it. Four quick takeaways from the new book, Cleanse to Heal. If you like this stuff, by the way, you can check out the book and we're also going to be covering this book in more detail in the insider membership so go to insiderschool.com to learn more and in either case make sure to like comment and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video